Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the hybridization of IF7 molecule. It's a chemical formula for iodine heptafluoride and while there are so many ways to find out the hybridization, a geometry of molecules we use the most easiest ways to find it, find out the hybridization of any given molecule. So to start with it, we first look at the lowest structure because it helps us to know the number of bonding pairs and non-bonding pairs of electrons on the central atom. Here, if you look at it, uh, if you look at this molecule, iodine atom is forming seven bonds with seven fluorine atoms, and there are no lone pairs on the central atom. So, as a result, we have seven bonding pairs of electrons on the central atom, and using this, we find out the steric number of any uh, of the given molecule. Here, IF seven has seven bonding pairs of electrons, which means the steric number is seven for IF seven. And if you look at this table. The steric number 7 corresponds to sp3d3 uh, hybridization. So whenever um, there are the 7 bonding pairs around this iodine atom, it needs to form 7 hybrid orbitals. And if you count the number of orbitals in sp3d3, these are 7 orbitals because there is one s orbital that is a, a, that is a hybrid orbital, 3p hybrid orbitals are formed and 3d hybrid orbitals are formed. And hence the hybridization for if7 will be sp3d3. And uh, you can find out hybridization by using other methods and formulas like looking at the electronic configuration of the central atom and so on. But that might be time consuming and this method of finding out the steric number might come in handy during your exams and other tests. So I hope this video helps you to understand the hybridization of IF7 molecule. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.